Hey there. In today's video, we're going to be talking about top 10 Power Apps interview questions for middle engineers. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a like and leave a comment. First, how can I implement authentication and authorization in my Power App? One way to implement authentication and authorization in your Power App is to use Azure Active Directory, AAD, as your identity provider. By doing so, you can leverage existing users and groups in your organization and control access to your app through AAD roles. For example, you can create an AAD app registration and configure it to use AAD as the authentication provider. Then you can assign specific roles in your app to AAD groups and users, and only those users with the correct roles will be able to access the app. Second, how can I create a custom connector for my Power App to connect to a specific API? Creating a custom connector for your Power App to connect to a specific API requires several steps. Firstly, you'll need to create an open API definition file, OAS, that describes the API's operations, parameters, and expected responses. Once the OAS is ready, you can import it to Power Apps using the custom connectors feature, where you can test and refine the connector. Then you can add the connector to your app and use it to connect to the API, just like you would use any other connector. Third, how can I access and manipulate data from an Excel file in my Power App? You can access and manipulate data from an Excel file in your Power App by using the Excel connectors. You can connect to the Excel file using the Excel connector and then use the Get Rows action to retrieve the data. Once you have the data, you can use the various data manipulation functions available in Power Apps to filter, sort, and update the data.applications. Fourth, how can I implement field level security in my Power App? Field level security in Power Apps can be implemented by using the Share feature, which allows you to control access to specific fields based on user roles. For example, you can create a Manager role that has access to all fields and an employee role that only has access to certain fields. You can also use the share feature to control access to specific records based on the user's role. Fifth, how can I add custom validation to my Power App forms? To add custom validation to your Power App forms, you can use the onChange and onValidate properties of the form controls. For example, you can use the onChange property to check if a required field is filled out and the onValidate property to check if an email address is in the correct format. You can also use the isMatch function to validate if the field is meeting the specific requirements. Sixth, how can I create a Power App that works offline? To create a Power App that works offline, you can use the offline feature in Power Apps which allows you to save data locally on the device and sync it with the server when a connection is available. To create an offline app, you'll need to use the collect and submit form functions to store data locally in the update if and patch functions to sync the data with the server. Seventh, how can I integrate Power Automate with my Power app to automate certain tasks? To integrate Power Automate with your Power app, you can use the Power Automate connector which allows you to trigger flows from your app and pass data between the app and the flow. For example, you can use the Power Automate connector to trigger a flow when a button is pressed in your app and pass data from the app to the flow as inputs. Then in the flow, you can use the data to perform specific tasks such as sending an email, creating a SharePoint item, or updating a record in another system. Eighth, how can I create a Power App that integrates with SharePoint? You can create a Power App that integrates with SharePoint by using the SharePoint connectors which allow you to retrieve, create, and update SharePoint items from within your app. For example, you can use the SharePoint connector to retrieve a list of items from a SharePoint list and then use the data in a gallery control in your app. You can also use the Create Item and Update Item actions to create and update SharePoint items directly from your app. Ninth. How can I optimize the performance of my Power App? There are several ways to optimize the performance of your Power App, including 
minimizing the amount of data that is retrieved and displayed in the app using delegable functions to filter data on the server rather than on the device. Using variables and collections to store and manipulate data in the app using the on visible property to delay the loading of data until the screen is visible. Minimizing the use of nested galleries and nested data sources. Tenth, how can I create a power app that works on multiple platforms, i.e. web, iOS, Android? You can create a power app that works on multiple platforms by using the responsive layout feature in power apps, which allows you to create a single app that automatically adapts to different screen sizes and orientations. Additionally, you can also use the preview feature to test the app on different devices and platforms. Well, that's it for today's video. We hope you learned something new. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date.